what's the most basic element of a piece of writing or the most fundamental building block? We usually, I tend to think of writing as being made of sections and paragraphs, but if we go down even more fundamental than that, then we're looking at the sentence. So let's talk about what a sentence is. Okay, here we've got the dog smiles, and this is a grammatically complete sentence. Now I wanna just distinguish between grammatically, grammatically complete sentences and sentences that may be complete ideas in and of themselves. So you could have an idea that feels very complete, but it's not grammatically complete. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, for something to be grammatically complete, we have to have two things. We have to have a subject and we have to have a verb. All right, so in this sentence, our subject is dog, our verb is smiles. The subject tells who or what is doing the verb. <coughs> the verb tells what the subject is or what the subject is doing. Now, as long as we have those two things bound together, um, we've got a sentence. Now, at the core of any grammatically complete sentence, no matter how complex, we're gonna have these two things. So we can take our basic sentence here and we can build it. In this case, we've added um, a prepositional phrase at 12 noon, which tells us when the smiling is happening. We've added a prepositional phrase in the rain, which tells us where the smiling is happening. And we've added the adjective cute, which describes dog. And that's a cute dog, right? Okay, but at core, we've still got the dog smiles. Now we can go even more complex than this here. We could say at noon, the cute dog, blissfully unaware of his impending doom, smiles in the rain as the train approaches. So I've got a prepositional phrase telling when. I've got blissfully unaware of his... <coughs> sorry, of his impending doom, which is a little um, modifying phrase. The whole thing is acting like an adjective describing the dog. I've got in the rain, which <coughs> prepositional phrase telling when the smiling is happening. And I've got as the train approaches, which is a little clause here, a little dependent clause. Again, it's got a little, it's like a mini sentence tucked inside our sentence. Okay, but again, it's telling us when the smiling is happening. Now, at core here, we still have the dog smiles. So again, to make a grammatically complete sentence, we've got to have at least one subject verb pair, a subject and a verb that are tied together. The subject show what or who is doing the verb and the verb show what the subject is doing or what the subject is.